Greeting all of you who are friends and family members of First Assembly of God Church in Union City, Tennessee. Uh, we've been talking quite a bit lately about unprecedented times, but as we move forward in this uh, relaunch, uh, reopening of America, as we've have heard it described, uh, we wanted to inform all of the congregates, people who are uh, members of First Assembly, um, uh, just our plans as it relates to reopening our on-campus ministries. Our desire is to certainly uh, relaunch all of our on-campus ministries, but we want to do it wisely. Uh, we want to uh, do it safely. And so we have put together um, a, a phased-in approach as what we have witnessed in, uh, from our national leaders. We just feel like this is probably the wisest thing to do. Uh, we want to follow the guidelines that are set out by our national and state leaders um, as we reopen the on-campus ministries here. But again, we want to use a phased-in approach. And if you would think of it in terms of May, June, and July, phase one, phase two, phase three, May, June, July, uh, I think that would help you, you to keep it uh, square in your mind. Uh, our goal is to utilize the social distancing guidelines that have been laid out, uh, you know, encouraging uh, hand washing, uh, encouraging those who have compromised immune systems or those who are sick um, to just watch the services online. Uh, we don't want anyone to, to get sick. Uh, so we want to limit the scope of uh, our on-campus ministry during phase one try to limit that person-to-person -person contact in the month of May. And so these are some things that we have decided to do for this phase one, which is going to involve May. Under phase one, we're going to offer one Sunday morning worship service in the sanctuary, but we will also be providing uh, the fellowship hall and our classrooms that are equipped with uh, flat panel television screens uh, to be able to be used as alternative sites uh, that can be used uh, to participate in our worship services. Uh, these, as I said, these spaces are equipped with tables and chairs and uh, television. There's ample space for families to sit together while maintaining the, the social distancing guidelines of six feet in distance. Um, the classrooms are equipped with YouTube access television, so you'll be able to watch uh, in real time the services uh, that are underway. And uh, we, we would encourage uh, any families that want to, you know, any families with small children to utilize uh, these classroom spaces. Uh, we want to make that available to you. Uh, we want to try to maintain the social distancing, whether it's in the sanctuary, whether it's in the classroom, whether it's in the fellowship hall. Uh, we want you to just continue to maintain those guidelines that have set out, been set out for us. Uh, and these spaces are used on a first-come, first-served basis. Under phase one, we will not be offering on-campus nursery, toddlers, impact, or oasis, or Sunday night or Wednesday night services. Um, on Wednesday, uh, Wednesday nights, uh, Pastor Jared will continue to do the... Uh, online services for our youth and uh, as well as uh, Impact Kids programming for our Impact Kids. Uh, on Wednesday night, May the 27th, uh, we're going to be offering a graduation celebration for our graduates that will be in the sanctuary uh, for the seniors, their families, friends, and we're not going to offer any other options that will be available that night. Under phase one, we will continue to stream our worship services online using our church YouTube uh, channel. Uh, as I said, Pastor Jarrah will continue to offer virtual services online for our Oasis Student Ministries as well as Impact Kids programming. And so that will get us through phase one, which would uh, wrap up in May. Under phase two, we will continue to offer Sunday morning worship services in the sanctuary at 1030. We will continue to stream the worship services live on our YouTube channel. Uh, under phase two, we will uh, offer an Impact Kids worship service in the fellowship hall from 1030 to 1130 on Sunday mornings. Our Impact leadership team will utilize the tables and the chairs that have been set out and spread out apart 
to help meet the social distancing guidelines and limit the person-to-person -person, uh, interaction appropriately. Under phase two, we will begin offering an OASIS student ministry services in the activities building on Wednesday nights at six o'clock. Also under phase two, we will offer Wednesday night impact kids, super book videos and discussion at 6 p.m. in the fellowship hall. Now, Sister Dina will be uh, facilitating the video and the discussion time. Again, we're gonna utilize the tables to minimize the person-to-person -person interaction as much as possible. Um, we would ask during this phase that parents drop off their children promptly at six o'clock and not any earlier. And this will limit that uh, having to uh, manage a large crowd of children and that person-to-person -person interaction uh, before the video gets underway. And we would also ask that parents would pick up their children promptly after the session is complete. Now, under phase two, we will once again offer an adult prayer meeting and uh, devotion, um, but it will be prayer and devotion only. We're not gonna have uh, a worship set per se. It will start exactly at six o'clock uh, and we'll dismiss no later than seven o'clock. And this prayer meeting and devotion will just, as I said, just be prayer and devotion without a worship set and mainly because we have so many of our worship team members who would require their children to, be, to have uh, someone to watch them. And so uh, this will just keep them from having to arrive early for some kind of worship rehearsal. Uh, we will not offer on-campus ministry for nursery or toddlers ministry under phase two, which is for the month of June. Under phase two, life groups will be limited to those life groups who can meet without the need for childcare or additional services and whose life group leaders feel comfortable facilitating the classroom. So that will get us phase one and that will get us through phase two in the month of June. Now we believe by implementing these steps and following these guidelines, we can safely return to our on-campus ministry. And we believe that by August, we will be able to do so without uh, putting lives at risk or uh, undue hardship on anyone. At the same time, gradually get back to full service church activities. I wanna just take a moment to say thank you for your patience. Thank you for uh, your cooperation as we navigate uh, the uncharted territory of moving past a pandemic uh, back to the relaunch of our on-campus ministries. And we just love you and uh, our prayers are for you. We wanna make sure that we are doing this as wisely and as safely as possible. So hopefully this helps you. And if you have any questions, we will try to post these guidelines on our church Facebook page. But if you have any questions, don't hesitate to call the church office at 731 885-2612. Again, that's 731-885-2612. And we'll do everything to make sure that we get you, uh, get the information that you need. God bless and uh, have a fantastic day.